It's Monday, December 31st, 2007. It's New Year's Eve. I'm Steve Tatum and I'm feeling a little old Lang Syne. Before we call it quits on 2007, I'd like to take a look back at some of the top stories that were ignored not only by the mainstream media, but by me, yours truly. Did you know, for example, that we have robots on the ground fighting the war in Iraq? I just thought you ought to know since it's 1.7 billion of your tax dollars that are paying for it. Coming in at number five of my top five list of ignored stories of 2007 is about bottled water. We spend a hundred billion dollars a year on bottled water. That's enough money to give clean drinking water to half the world's population that currently has unsafe water to drink. And you know what percentage of those bottles we recycle? 11%. The rest of those bottles they go into landfills. I bet you didn't know that, but I bet you did know that Tom Cruise's baby's name is Suri. Coming in at number four of my top five ignored stories of 2007 is a story reported by journalist Jason Leopold, who claims that Dick Cheney's old company Halliburton sold nuclear weapons to Iran. Wow, I bet you didn't know that, but I bet you did know that Anna Nicole Smith's baby's father is Larry Burkhead. Coming in at number three on my list of the top five ignored stories of 2007 is the story that Fox News falsely reported Mr. Troy Stanley as the hostage taker in the Hillary Clinton campaign office hostage crisis a few weeks back. They falsely reported that Stanley did it, they went over his mental health records, and they disparaged his character. And who was forced to pay for this? Well, just Mr. Stanley. What journalist was fired? Nobody. I bet you didn't know that, but I bet you did know that Paris Hilton went to jail three days over the summer. Coming in at number two is the congressional testimony of former Surgeon General Richard Cremona who said that while he was part of the Bush administration, they wouldn't let him talk about the benefits of stem cell research and they also censored information that pointed out the dangers of global warming. Well, who squelched this information? It was President Bush Sr.'s godson William Steiger who's an official at Health and Human Services. You know that department that's supposed to look out for your health and humanity. I bet you didn't know that. But I bet you did know that 16 year old Jamie Lynn Spears got pregnant. And finally the number one story of 2007 that was ignored is the fact that the US backed invasion by Ethiopia of Somalia led to one million Somali refugees. I bet you didn't know that. But I bet you did know that Britney Spears goes out on the town without her panties. How can you explain the fact that we were so in the dark during 2007? I think there's only one person who can put a fine point on the lack of education in the United States and who else from 2007 but Miss South Carolina. Take it away. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Uh, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries. So we will be able to build up our future. Well put, Miss South Carolina. That's the ointment for another year. I'm Steve Tatum and that's news. Happy New Year, everybody. Catch you tomorrow in 2008. Be safe out there.